as I reflect back on this year, I think about the healing that I've done for myself. The places that I started at the start of 2018 and where I am now, and there is this heaviness and there is this beautiful lightness. And as I was thinking about in what ways, if someone asked me, how do you heal? And there's all these tools and there's all these different things and modalities of different ways. And for me, I just chose to love my wounds. I chose to love the tender, vulnerable girl. Love her until she let it all out. I chose to listen to her this year, to let her express where she was hurt, to not try to fix it, but to just allow her to be, to hold her and let her cry till she couldn't cry anymore, till that wound wasn't as tender anymore. And I want to encourage you that if you're still facing challenges in your life, like we all do, but they seem to keep repeating themselves and you seem to still find this sadness or anger or frustration or bitterness or something that just doesn't feel right in your body. Listen, ask, sit with it. Don't run from it. Don't hide it. Don't avoid it. Don't push it down. The way that you're gonna get through it is by loving it. It's like a child who just needs to cry it out and you just hold it and give it and hold the space for it to be heard. And at some point that last tear will fall. And at some point it is then time to pick up, to pick yourself up, to notice a lightness about you like I do now and allow yourself to start breathing again. So whatever 2019 brings for you, my greatest wish is that it brings for you a peace and a contentment and a deep love for you. Because when you can bring that, then everything else in life feels all right. Everything else will feel all right. Have a beautiful 2019. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and love yourself through it all. I'll see you in the new year.